welcome welcome to another episode with hodan and today's episode we are going to talk about different industries that might be very interesting for you and especially if you are wondering what might be the fast growing industries in kenya so i picked the three leading industries which was surprising for me as well but let's look at this together so you and me what we know is that what is kenya known for is the safaris is the travel so assumingly we think that the industries that is really leading is the travel industry but da 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 it's not actually the agriculture is the one of the most leading um, industries in Kenya and I was very fascinated about that and actually tried to look further down into and I realized that actually the agriculture is providing like 40% of the GDP of the whole country and which is ruled by 70% by the actual the workers what it produced from the agriculture and this is was for me extremely fascinating because when we look at Kenya the most leading exporting which we actually going to look at on a different video if you are interested in finding more about that make sure to subscribe as it will be on your next video list so um, what I wanted to say in, in in regards to the agriculture aspect is that it's so growing fast and as corona and COVID and all this uh, lockdown what it caused is that a lot of people lost jobs in Kenya and naturally a lot of businesses uh, individuals went into the agriculture world where a lot of them have the lands to produce and also they started to get this passion for getting the, the agriculture and production more so the production went to the roof so for me this was extremely fascinating to see the growth that has came in so this was the first industry growth I have noticed in Kenya after making my little investigation. The second leading industry in Kenya is da -da -da -da, construction and real estate. And I was like wondering, what? Really? But then, honestly, if you think about it, the reason why it's like the reading right now for construction real estate is that if you look at Kenya comparison to seven years, eight years ago when I came, the roads were so rough and honestly, between you and me, it was so annoying. It's like it, it's like every building next to it was like so rough. The roads were hugely rough. But now, after the big four agenda by the government, the roads and roads has become extremely fascinating and the the plants is really right developing to the roof and yes the construction has went to like it's the biggest producer of the GDP as well the second biggest uh, producer in Kenya and according to that the construction when it's going up it led the real estate as well in in in, in to the growth so right now areas i haven't been like for four years i went back and i looked at it and i was like whoa amazingly has been ever like it's populated like the whole building the very fascinating it looks like a little new york almost in nairobi <laughs> so maybe you let me know if you would like me to give you a bit of glimpse of Nairobi and how it has grown. If you even considering coming to Nairobi and doing something in Nairobi. So properties has went to the roof. A lot of buildings is being built in Nairobi. And also remember the Kenyans uh, urbanization is growing by crazily. The numbers right now is not right with me here but if you were to look it up it's like the middle uh, the lower class became higher faster to the middle class and the middle class became an upper class so it's the the urbanization is growing to 
speed that is unimaginably and Nairobi is becoming very congested so people are actually expanding quite fastly the Nairobi space so lands I wished I was a smarter uh, you know, uh, seven years ago and tap to the opportunity that was available for me that something that was costing 50000 now we are talking about 400000 just the land, US dollars. In some cases, something that was 100000 seven years ago, it's like we're talking about a million US dollars. So, this is not enough. I was saying to myself three years ago, oh yeah, this is just a bubble. And reality is, it's not a bubble. It's just still going up. So what I'm trying to say is, it's really fascinating to see the industries that are leading. And I feel and believe that it will be staying in there. The third industry is actually... Da -da -da -da, technology what technology what are you talking about all right but yes actually to be honest technology has been taking to a spontaneously level in kenya and that alone you can see the investment that is coming in kenya by the bubble is happening right now that young bright kenyas that are developing new technology and investor, foreign investors investing, the VCs, all these capital uh, investors are investing and injecting because the ideas and the needs that is there for and hunger for the technologies that Kenya has is spontaneous, it's like amazing. So I am not surprised that the technology is, the ICT is the third fast growing industry. So what does all of this mean for you? Well, if you were to consider yourself, which industry should I start when I come into Kenya? Or if I were to consider to come to Kenya and perhaps invest, start your business or start like building something or doing inside in Kenya, which industry you should start looking into? Trust me, I was surprised, but reality is that these three industries are hot cake right now. And honestly, the government as well facilitating very nicely these industries. If you liked what you heard and you you know saw what you uh, liked what you saw, and you would like to get more of those informations more into the details go ahead and subscribe and also what i would have recommend for you if you are first time coming to kenya you perhaps want to watch this video that will help you to learn more about what are requirements for your checklist of registering a business in kenya thank you and see you in the next episode <music>